Columbia native who now lives in Anderson County was staying inside the hotel where all of this happened. Our Chuck Ringwalt was able to connect with her via Skype earlier today and has her story. It was so surreal to be watching the television and and see the room where this happened and know that I was just right there and that the hotel that's on the screen I'm in that hotel. Sims Brooks was staying only a few floors below where the shooter opened fire. I didn't know what it was. Honestly, I thought that it was probably fireworks across the street. The Columbia native had a work conference in the morning, so she put in earplugs and fell asleep. All of a sudden, my door comes bursting open, and it's the Las Vegas police department. They asked two questions. Are you alone and are you safe? And it was super fast when they were there and they slammed the door and off they went. Checking every room on every floor. My very first thought was that had to, it has to be a shooting. As the hours passed, she learned more information and walked out of the hotel. It, it made me physically ill. She decided not to attend the conference. She thought back to a girl she saw the afternoon before. I saw this girl um, by the convention center that afternoon wearing a t-shirt that said that she belonged to the working class, which is, you know, a song, a country song. And I remember that, and, I, and she was the first person that I thought of, and I thought, you know, that girl could be one of those people down there. There aren't even, aren't even any words really to describe that at all. Sim says she plans to return to the upstate sometime tomorrow. In Columbia, Chuck Ringwald, News 19, WLTX.